Empty Homes Week is a national directive to try and increase visibility for empty homes and the challenges that councils face uh, in relation to dealing with them, managing them, and bringing them back into use. Empty homes in the borough tend to attract other issues such as antisocial behaviour, fly tipping, littering, and other crimes of people breaking and entering, squatting. He got derelict and was empty for over th over 20 years. Um, lots of complaints from neighbours because it was uh, one infested by pigeons and going in the broken windows. But the council took it over through compulsory purchase and uh, now be converted into flats. A compulsory purchase order is a, a highly technical process which involves both approval internally through senior management, uh, members, uh, and once approved internally then has to be sent to the Secretary of State for final approval prior to the purchase taking place. The council then has options as to how they deal with the land that has been purchased, whether they look to put through a scheme of development themselves, look to sell it immediately or put it back to the market through an auction. That brings an old building back into use, a very good use for it, and we need the accommodation in the borough. An empty home just down the road here, Mr Gamble's shoe factory. That was converted into flats a few years ago. That was an empty factory, been empty for a few years, that's been done. And we're working on the rest of the buildings in South Brixton. Try and engage uh, with empty homeowners to try and put into place actions to bring those properties back into use. Uh, ultimately, we do have enforcement powers which can uh, drive those properties back into use through uh, compliance, uh, either through a compulsory purchase order, as was used in the case of the Hat and Cat factory, uh, empty dwelling management orders, uh, or even taking properties on, on a lease from uh, owners, landlords, uh, or operators.